one, it's Rebe Budgeting because yes, I be budgeting and cash stuffing. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we are telling our money where to go so we're not left wondering where it went. On my channel, we talk about all things cash envelope stuffing, sinking funds, budget with me, and some savings challenges. If that's something you're interested in or if you just want to follow along and watch my journey, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment below so we can chit chat. Happy Friday, happy payday Friday. In today's video, we are gonna be um, stuffing our cash envelopes, some seeking funds, and a few of our savings challenges. Um, before we hop into that though, we have to do our BCL shout out. Shout out to Miss Budgeting April for putting this budgeting community link together, just as a way for us to meet new budgeters here on YouTube. I'll flash um, the card on the screen of the four budgeters that we are supporting this week. And that is Nika Budget, Mimi on a Budget, Hiker on a Budget, and Sweet Kiki One. Definitely be sure to go subscribe to their channel. Check out their content if you haven't already. But let's go ahead and hop into um, the video. Hopefully you guys have had a great week and looking forward to this weekend, um, I am gonna be stuffing a total of 808. Um, I'll link my budget with me up in the cards. Um, but today we're gonna be putting 263 in our cash wallet, 451 in our sinking funds, and then $94 into our savings challenges. So let's get this counted up. That's 400, let me just move this out the way. One fifty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 10, 15, 20, 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Perfect. Right at 808. So I just need to, um, I know I have at least some change um, for Big Bank Piggy, which we'll do um, when we do our savings challenges. But in typical reform, I do not have. Um, any rollover um, because I stuff every two weeks um, you know the the money in here gets used within that two week time frame so typically won't um, won't have much rollover if anything um, when I do stuff my cash wallet so we're just gonna set this aside for now big bank big bank will eat later um, so let's start with our spend envelope Definitely let me know what you guys have going on for the weekend in the comments below. Spin is going to be getting 25. A uh, little bit of a busy weekend for me. It's um, like my anniversary weekend, but also um, my boyfriend's birthday weekend. So definitely going to be celebrating that. I know we're going to um, order in some food. I got him a couple things for gifts. So definitely looking forward to that. And then... We're having a family day on Sunday, so that's what I'll be doing. Self care is going to be getting 55, two 20s, a 10, and a 5, 20, 40, 55. Yep. So, yeah, hopefully, y'all have something fun planned. Um, the weather is definitely starting, starting to cool down. It's been like 80s, high 80s, but still in the, in the 80s, especially after like multiple days of it just being 90 plus um you can definitely feel the 80s starting to kick in so that's been nice gas is going to get 60 60 um worked for me this last round so We'll give it another try this round. I know gas has been going down quite a bit. Grocery is going to be getting a $100 bill. 
I know I need a few paper products, so that'll mostly be what this is going towards um, for this check. And then I did see I needed to scan in um, a receipt. If you have not heard of Fetch, I'm going to put my code here up on the screen. But it's a really cool app. You scan your receipts, whether they're from grocery shopping, gas, fast food places, restaurants, wherever you get a receipt, you can scan your receipt. Um, that receipt turns into points, and those points turn into gift cards. Um, and so if you use my code, um, you get points and I get points after you scan your first receipt. So definitely look into that. Family short term is going to be getting $10. Um, I'm going to be skipping just us. And then giving is going to be getting $5. I'm skipping just us. Um, well, number one, because of the birthday anniversary um, activities we have going on this weekend. But I'm also going to be stepping our date night challenge. So we'll just put some money towards us then. Miscellaneous is going to be getting $8. And then we already took our coins out, which we'll give to Big Bank in a second. So we're good. All of our um, cash, wallet, variable expense. Oops, <laughs> gum that popped out. Um, all of our variable expense envelope have been filled. So we're good there. So let's head over into um, our sinking fund binders and start with the purple one. Um, I think we, yeah, we are skipping re this time, but emergency is going to be getting $10. If you guys saw my last video, then you know I'm working through some house repairs. So, um, he's not quite done yet. So I'm just kind of waiting for the other boot to drop, if you will. Um, but I'm hoping that I won't have to completely clear out my emergency fund um because as you see I, you'll see i did have to um clear out my home maintenance fund already so at least right now in emergency we still have five hundred six seven. and if you're new to the budgeting community and watching these videos um the prop money just represents money that is sitting in my savings account 20 40 60 80 98 and then 810 and the goal here is to get to 1,000. Um, but like I said, just depending on how the rest of these repairs go, um, we may see some changes in our emergency fund. But hey, that's what it's here for. Okay, and then a family this time is gonna be getting $31. So 20, 10, and one. So family now has 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 50. Um, future will be getting skipped. Um, health is going to be getting 120. I am going to go ahead and um, order me some new glasses. So definitely looking forward to that. Uh, my prescription didn't change too, too much. Um, but enough to where I need um, a new pair. And my health insurance won't cover a new pair until I think 2023. And so um, in this meantime, I'm just going to order some from online. Just to um, make sure I'm actually using the right prescription. So health now has... 120, 30, 31, um, but this will basically be coming right back out uh, whenever I order 
order the glasses. Um, holidays, it's going to be skipped right now. We're really focusing on Thanksgiving, so I'm going to skip that for right now. We have time. And I'm also going to skip parents, um, but I did want to say, you know, shout out to my parents. Um, they have been really saving on their own. Um, I told you guys my mom does have a binder with some envelopes, but then her and my dad, they've been saving um, like the, the liter pop bottle, soda bottles with dimes. And so whenever you fill it up, it's $400. So I'll insert some pictures in here from when they cashed in their dimes a couple weeks ago. Um, and so they've been doing really good on their saving and, um, they're using it for like future vacations, future trips or cruises that they want to take. So shout out to y'all. Um, and then in the green binder, birthdays is going to be getting 120. And again, this is another, um, envelope that is super duper active for me. If y'all been watching my, my channel, you know, just about every week, every weekend, every time I stuff <laughs> this envelope, it goes right back out. Um, but it's okay because, you know, I love celebrating people's birthdays and just doing things, whether it's going out to eat, um, getting them a little gift, um, giving them a car, just little things like that. I, you know, enjoy doing so birthdays now has 120, 40 and 50. Um, and again, this will probably be going right back out. Um, as I get ready for the weekend, uh, car maintenance is going to be getting 20. Again, this is another priority envelope for me. I did pay off my car in May of this year. And so just making sure number one, I can pay my car tags, um, in 2023, but also I want to get to my deductible of 500. So car maintenance now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120, 125. And I will update my trackers after this video. Christmas is going to be getting 50 according to the tracker here. Um, and as per usual, everything you see me using should be linked down below. Um, but as always, if it's not, please don't hesitate to ask or let me know. But Christmas now has 50, 1, 50, 70, 92. 205, 210, and 211. That is so amazing. I literally cannot believe I have this much set aside for Christmas. And it's August. So that's super cool. I'm really excited and proud that I've been following this tracker and just putting money aside. I'm not going to, I'm still d debating when I'm going to stop. Um, I don't know, I may go take it all the way up to the first check in December. I don't know, we'll just see. Because as we know, I started this midway through this year. So not 100% on um, on the mark, but it's all good. Either way, we're still putting aside for Christmas. Nothing in clothes and then nothing in kiddos. It's okay for now. And then home maintenance, I am going to put 100 in there. Again, just in case, um, you know, more... Um, material is needed or anything um as i'm working through these house repairs and it only has a hundred dollars like i said i cleared it out um last week for the first round of repairs and then nothing for travel right now or vacation okay so we're good on all of our sinking funds and honestly you guys i think i'm finally getting to a place where i, I am getting a better idea of which envelopes are priority um, versus which one are lower priority. And so I really want to do a binder revamp just to have my high priority envelopes together, my middle and then low priority envelopes together. Um, so yeah, we're getting super close to, um, to that, which I'm excited about. So let's move on to our savings challenges. Um, I did do my um, zero out challenge this morning. I will pop the um, image below or image on the screen, but today, what's today, the 19th? So what I do is I transfer the last three digits in my account. When I wake up payday morning, I just transfer that over right to my savings account. And so um, the transfer this morning was 619. So that's been adding up really quickly, you guys. And that's just a really quick, super easy way to save up a few dollars um without having to necessarily make more money 
Um, so I've really been enjoying that challenge. And then let's do Big Bank next. See how much he's going to eat today. So we're starting at 2041. And now we're at 21.48. So I'll splash the difference across the screen as well. And then let's hop into our savings challenge binder. Um, so general savings. This is going to be getting $10. And this is another um, challenge that I am using a tracker for. So each dollar bill image here is $10. And so now it will have 10, 20, 30, 40. So let's color in a bill here. Okay. And then um, we're not going to do our plant tracker today, but we are going to stuff the $10 that we scratched off from our ladybug challenge. This is from Miss Vicky at um, Happy Budgeting Mom. So we pulled 10, our first two scratches. And so now we have $20 in here. And then let's get our box so we can uh, see what we need to put aside for our next stuffing. Oh, I forgot to pull out my little uh, tool here. So next time we are going to be stuffing, looks like 25. Awesome, so the next time I stuff this challenge, we'll be putting $25 into this envelope. And at the end of all of our ladybugs, we will have saved $250. And um, this is just gonna be for an adventure for me. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I have been playing uh, Renaissance nonstop. And so <laughs> I'm pretty sure the tour dates will be coming out soon. And so um, just know I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> I'm gonna be in that at that concert. Um, okay, so then our melanin challenge, um, we are supposed to be stuffing 15. Um, so I'm just going to grab one of my envelopes here and then we're going to grab our scratcher just to see what we are going to be stuffing next time. And this is from Let's Budget K. By the end of this challenge, this will be $300. And this will be just for me to be ready for my siblings' birthdays when they come up. All right, so let's do, I'm filling this one. Awesome. So the next time we step this challenge, we will be adding $15. Awesome, and then date night. Date night is going to be getting 14. 10, one, two, three, four. Perfect. And this is from Jesse C Envelopes. So once this gets to 200, um, we are going to, in case you're unfamiliar with this challenge, once this reaches your goal, um, you scratch off one of these circles and it tells you what your date night activity is going to be. So that's going to be super fun. Um, each of our symbols is $14. So I'm just going to color in another heart. Okay. Let that dry a little bit and then let's count up and see um, what we have so far. 20, 30, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So $56. That's pretty good. This challenge is also adding up um, really quickly. At least to me it is. So maybe by or before the end of the year, um, we will have finished it. And then we'll be able to go on a date night. Not that we already don't go on a date night, but just, you know, one of Jesse C's date nights. <laughs> Okay, and then I think the only last thing I need to do is complete my 100 envelope challenge. On the last time, we selected 45, which is just right here, and should be 45 as it is, 20, 40, and 5. We're just going to drop that in here and put it toward the back with the rest of ours. So we've only completed three envelopes. Um, it's kind of my little um, tab here, so I know which ones are done, which ones aren't. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be making um, some pretty good progress on that. I'm super excited for whenever it'll be done. Again, I'm not on a time crunch by any means. Um, I'm just gonna let it happen when it does. I'm gonna stuff it when I'm able to. Um, and yeah, we're just going to enjoy the journey of finishing this challenge. It's definitely one of um, the more longer term challenges for sure. Okay, and then same thing. We're just going to select our envelope for next time. 70. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, that's going to be an interesting stuffing, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> So next time we stuff this challenge, it'll be $70. <laughs> All right, you guys. And I think that completes it for me today. Um, we stuffed our cash envelopes. We stuffed our sinking funds um, and our savings challenges. That was quite a full video today. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you made it this far in the video, I truly appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Like this video, comment below if you're new. Let's chit chat. Let's get to know each other. I love meeting meeting y'all in the comments. Until my next video, which should be next week, my bonus video. Stay tuned for that. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>